fight coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and not fight. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Lee gets touched by that kick there. What a head kick. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Lee. Yes, Able to check that kick as well. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice! Oh, nice high kick. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful. 
beautiful body kick. He's going after the head. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. That's your jab. I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Got the single collar tie. Huge knee land for the tie point. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. The tower's not put back. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. by that head kick. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. How good is that right hand? Head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Big body kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, huge head kick. And another thwack there to the outside of that lead leg. Just missed on the front kick there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. that will finish the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we are, early round two. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent 
that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, man, head to land. Oh, nice job there defensively to block that knee attempt. Good work by Lee. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. Oh, spinning backwards. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Yes, but he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. What a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, crippling knee to the body. to the head rocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big body kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. here off of his back by Lee. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocked. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Back to the feet now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, you've got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Third round underway. Nice body. Oh, how 
about this kicking game on full display tonight. Kick back to back just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And that shot blocked by Lee. There by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. I caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you drop the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. I mean, you cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Kick attempt, they're blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks in. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. He's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, oh he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Very tricky when he throws that body. Leg kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Big knee lands there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Big head kick land. that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more you of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Powerful leg kick land. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, huge elbow! Starting to form on the right side of his body. Nice liver shot, Lance. Back to the feet. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Seconds winding down in round three. Get right here. Whoa! How about those five minutes? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. 
let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. for five five-minute rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice punch land over the top. Body kick lands right under the elbow. Defense. 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 Ooh, nice trade left hand. Right, now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just out of range with that kick attempt. That was a thudding leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over. Throws that kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches can celebrate the great handiwork.